I don't know why Syracuse has elected to miss the warm-up. The Chiefs have already skated over to their bench. Uh, you know, it just might be that Syracuse is afraid to come out here tonight and face the Chiefs. And then, oh, thanks, Bill. Oh, good heavens. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've just been handed the Syracuse roster, and it appears the Syracuse Bulldog management is just real thirsty for a big grudge match type victory here tonight. They have actually brought back, just for this one contest, some colorful names for the back. Oh, and here they come now, led by oh, someone we all know very well, Tim Dr. Hook McCracken. And here's a name from the past, Ross Mad Dog Madison. Ross, as you well know, never travels anywhere without his longtime friend and attorney, Sam Smallprint Lyman. And here's a name for you nostalgia fans, Clarence Screaming Buffalo Swamp Town. I'll never forget an exclusive interview I did with him many years ago when Buffalo revealed that he liked to call his hockey stick the Big Tomahawk. And he usually refers to the opposing players as the Little Scalps. I thought he'd been suspended forever. Andre Poodle Lucia defense. Andre, of course, has been living in semi-seclusion in northern Quebec ever since the unfortunate Denny Pratt tragedy. Not Poodle. And from mile 40, Saskatchewan, where he now runs a donut shop, number 15, former penalty minute record holder of the Federal League for the years 1960 to 1968, inclusive, Gilmore Tunnel. Oh, gee, hold the phone. Oh, this is an unscheduled surprise. It's him. On this young man has had a very trying rookie season. What with the litigation, the notoriety, his subsequent deportation to Canada, and that country's refusal to accept him, well, I guess that's more than most 21-year-olds could handle. Oh, Gilbert. Oh, Gilbert. 